just a beautiful 52 degrees outside. Well, it's uh, time for me to explain what's going on. I've uh, been off uh, the sculpting route there for about you know, a couple of months now. It's a lot of things involved. I'm not going to get into uh, some health, some other things. Recently, it's been the fact that I've had to look for another house. Uh, the uh, landlady, who's a wonderful lady, uh, she's, uh, I've been running from her for, well, since the late 80s in that house, and so almost 30 years I've been in that house, and uh, she it wants to sell the house now. And so I've uh, been given notice to uh, find another place. She's given me plenty of time to do that. I found one, and I'm going to be moving into uh, that house uh, sometime in the next couple of days or so uh, over the next month and uh, getting set up and stuff like that. So I just want to let you know that uh, I have not died. I have not uh, retired. I'm just been uh, very busy. This is uh, where Virginia City is. Uh, Virginia City was started by uh, miners back in the 1860s. If you want to pause the uh, video here, you can read that sign. Uh, but it basically says that uh, this is Alder Gulch and uh, they found placer gold along a stream bed uh, here in May of 1863. Thousands came from every corner of the world to try their luck in the placer mines and perhaps to garner a piece of far famed treasure. A brief but turbulent period of lawlessness and vigilante justice ended with the creation of Montana Territory in 1864. Virginia City quickly rose to be territorial capital from 1865 to 1875, but the uh, glory faded when Placer Gold uh, played out and the people moved on. So from 1865 to 1875, we had the governor's mansion right here in Virginia City. And uh, and that was it right there in the center of the picture. That was the governor's mansion for a while. There's the uh, courthouse built in 1875. And this is where I've got to go right now. Well, back in the... Uh, by 1863 or around there, uh, a group of men were being chased by uh, Indians, and uh, they went up this uh, gulch here. This is uh, Alder Gulch, and up at the head of the gulch, uh, they camped. And one of the guys decided to go, you know, looking in the, do a little panning in the river to see uh, what's going on, and uh, he struck it rich, uh, and so the. Uh, boom of uh, gold uh, started this whole town right here of uh, Virginia City and these buildings uh, date back to uh, the 1800s and a lot of them to the 1860s and they still got the same glass in the uh, windows that they had back then and here at the saloon here uh, is been a lot of movies made in that saloon, but uh, these buildings are all original uh, to the 1800s. Very little has uh, changed over the years. This 
this is uh, just a great little town to come visit. This wood building right here, before they had the roof on it, they hung several men in here, some of Plummer's uh, gang. Plummer was a sheriff who uh, was stealing gold and killing uh, miners as they left the gold fields with their gold. All right, I'm gonna head back home. I've gotta start packing today. I'm gonna be uh, doing a lot of that for the next few days. I've hired a couple of fellas to come over and help me pack. Uh, and uh, then I gotta get moved. So here I come out onto the valley. And uh, this is the Madison Valley where I live. I will try to get back to sculpting soon. I just really have a, a deep desire to get started again. Uh, it's it's a little scary. It's uh, it's like starting to sculpt all over again, and uh, because you know after you've been away from it for a couple of months, it's it's hard to get motivated and get back into it. But I will do that. But I first have to get moved and get settled in and uh, get comfortable with the space that I've got to uh, start doing that again. It's one of the major Native American hunting grounds back in the, uh, for centuries. They'd all come to this valley because this is where all the buffalo were and uh, in game, big game like elk and buffalo and deer and antelope everything you could imagine and you could get fish out of that river the Madison River as well well all right that's gonna be it for now uh, remember I have uh, right now uh, quite a few instructional DVDs that I sell uh, you uh, take advantage of the uh, almost 50 years of my sculpting a little tricks of the uh, trade, a little secrets here and there of some making something that looks hard actually easy. Uh, I've got all kinds of videos covering, uh, well, just about every you know thing dealing with horses and uh, with people. Uh, yeah, they're on the western side, but you can take what I teach and put it towards anything you do. Absolute any subject that you want to paint or sculpt or uh, produce or whatever. So check out my uh, link down below. I have a special, uh, if you buy all my DVDs, you get one unlisted DVD uh, that I don't uh, list and I don't uh, advertise. Uh, you'll get that one free. It's a, Little, oh, almost an hour and a half uh, video so anyway just uh, ending today's video here and on my way back home in the valley of uh, the Madison and uh, I'll see you when I next time I uh, get uh, time to do something or say something or inform you about something or do a little sculpting Hope I, hopefully some sculpting all right, that's going to do it for today. Uh, until next time, good night, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.